So we finally have the Lineage OS first look based on Android 15, although it's not official version, but this is unofficially Lineage OS 22, which I've installed on my device and we have it's based on Android 15. In case you don't know, Lineage OS always gives you a stable Android version update. So it takes some time to give you a stable updates, but for now, unofficially it's there. And 99% of the things are same basically as compared to official or unofficial. So things are literally same. Let's find out the things which you get in Lineage OS 22 are basically based on Android 15. First of all, the new settings UI, that's quite amazing. The settings UI is finally changed with the Lineage OS because it's been some time, no changes to Lineage OS because they don't focus on those kind of things. So we have this Lineage OS, which is having new settings UI, which is inspired from QPR update of Android 15 from Google and also this new predictive back animations. These things were not enabled by default in Lineage OS at all, although these things were present in some of the custom rooms, but Lineage OS always gives you official things which are released by Google and Google actually released this kind of this predictive back animation with Android 15 officially by default. So this is what we have. This predictive back animation is available with Lineage OS latest version. Another thing which is actually so good that private space is implemented with Lineage OS. That's a very good thing. I found some of the things were missing, which you get in stock Android, but you don't get in Lineage OS. We have those lock screen clocks. Those were never imported through this one, but we have this private space. And yes, thankfully it's working fine. It is having no issues at all. I tried it yesterday. Yes, I'm using an official version, but things are almost identically same as compared to the official version. Whenever official will come out and I will definitely let you know when the official version comes out. But while making this video, we have the unofficial version. You have almost similar kind of options available. Private space is one of my favorite features. So you can use multiple, basically you can use a different work profile on a device and it's a bit different as compared to work profile. And this private space is a little bit different. I am using it. I know this thing looks quite good. One more thing is in case you don't know, wallpapers and style also have new UI introduced, new preview UI as you can see. And uh, yes, that new UI is also implemented with Lineage OS. So you can adjust the wallpaper according to your own preference. Also by clicking on set wallpaper, you can see now this kind of UI is available. So you can choose between lock screen or home screen or both. It's totally up to you. But we have some UI changes in this wallpapers and style UI, which was not there in case of Android 14. So that's another change which you get in Android 15. This is all the things which are available in this Lineage OS Android 15. But one thing which is quite strange is the volume panel. Unfortunately, the new volume panel is not available here. Not exactly sure if that will come with stable or basically official Android 15 or not. But for now, what I found, this is not available. Let me know in the comment box if you are using an official version with that new with that new volume panel. But in my case, it's not available there. That's quite unfortunate because the volume panel is one of the great things in Android 15. Not a great actually, but yes, quite amazing ones. Let me show you one more thing. If you click on app info of some certain apps, you will find app archive feature and that is so useful. It's also present in this case. So now you can archive the apps to save some storage on a device. And whenever you click on restore, for example, I click, I clicked on this archive. So app is now gone. So whenever you click on restore, it will again download the app from Google Play Store or that source, uh, but your app data will not be deleted. So it's a great thing that you might save some storage, especially if you are using a device which is having less storage for now while making this video, 128 GB is not enough. So if you are using 128 GB or even by any chance, if you are using 64 GB, uh, this could be a great useful option for you. Other than else, of course, as expectedly, we have Trebuchet Launcher, which brings you few of the options here and there, and also brings you hidden and protected apps feature, which is quite obvious that you can hide the apps. You can also lock them. Things are looking so good, so amazing for now, right now. So yes, these are the things available in this case, although it is having similar kind of options available. Whenever the official comes out, you will be able to use OTA updater and a lot more extra things. But for now, we have some of the unofficial versions available for many devices right now. If you're into custom ROM, you already got the unofficial version most likely. So check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.